Ridge keeps revealing that when it comes to Brooke, he don't care about nobody else's feelings, what they think. Because Steffi had a point. She was saying how he could have talked to her about it in private. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life with Chester for the Bone and Beautiful June 18, 2024. Okay, so not too much happened on today's episode. Y'all already know, same old, same old. Steffi and Hope disagree. They over here talking about her hanging out with Finn, her thinking that Sheila has changed. Okay, let's start with Sheila, Deacon, and Brooke. Sheila over here still listening to their conversation, and Brooke gonna say some doggone. She got through the hope. She feels like she got through the hope, and then she tells Deacon not to tell anyone. And I said, Sheila already knows she over there hiding behind the corner. <laughs> then Sheila tripped me out. How you gonna come? She wanted Deacon to be honest with her, basically. She wanted Deacon to tell her what she already knows. She kept hinting at it and stuff and talking about Hope. Hope, so why can't Steffi be like Hope and all this other stuff? I think Brooke had said something to him about keeping a watchful eye or whatever on Finn and Hope or just on Hope or whatever. I was trying to figure out why when Sheila was trying to get him to go upstairs and all this other stuff, he was like, no, um, he got to fix. What did he say he had to fix? He has, he said he had to fix something in regards to the restaurant. And she was like, okay, basically what's going on or whatever. I said, yeah. I said, you know, just tell him, you know, tell him you overheard or you was eavesdropping. You didn't overhear nothing. Well, you started out, you overheard, but then you start eavesdropping. But Sheila, you know, doing what she do anytime she started to talk about Steffi. She was saying how Finn, what if he had a woman who actually allowed her around Finn, basically. <laughs> and I said, she finna try to play matchmaker. I think the only thing they said was something about Steffi and Sheila. I don't know if they're going to argue or what, but they said Sheila proves basically she's not one to mess with. So I said, okay, is she going to go tell Steffi that Hope has feelings for Finn? Or is she going to over here tell Finn about Hope's feelings for him? But long story short, in regards to that, I don't think Sheila has changed. I don't think nobody really believed that she has changed. And I don't like... First of all, y'all know I already said uh, Steffi is controlling. She is telling him, but she's telling him right because the lady is a psychopath. But at some point, Finn gonna have to be honest and say he wants a relationship with Sheila so Steffi can leave. I said, ooh, if he does or if him and Hope do get together, do y'all think that she gonna try to keep Hayes from him or what? Ridge ended up walking. It was something else. What else happened with them? It was something. I don't think I wrote it down, y'all. But um, Ridge ended up walking in on Hope and Steffi. He was like, what's going on here? And they trying to get her to see basically how she is and she can't be influenced in Finn and she needs to stay away from him and all this other stuff but then they ended up having a meeting Ridge ended up revealing that he still wants to focus on designing and once he started mentioning the uh Brooks bedroom line and all this other stuff he was like it's one person they could basically fill in and Steffi was asking um if he wanted Brooke to be co-CEO with them or whatever and he's like it's not about labels and I said I wanted to know too y'all know I've been asking that I said what exactly does he want but basically, he was like, it's not about titles. No, you're going to have to have a title because when they get to disagreeing or whatever, they're going to have to vote. They're going to end up having to vote. They're supposed to vote anyways. But Steffi said there's no way that she's running their family company with Brooke Logan or whatever. I said, you, you haven't realized yet that this man going to forever choose this lady over anybody. Over anybody. And I said, she had a point. She had a point. She was like, okay, you couldn't come to me in private and talk to me about it. I said, he knew that she wasn't going to go for it. I wonder if they had to... Um, would it just be the, uh, what they call it, the board members that had to vote on who can be the CEO or whatever? Or, you know, is, is it between Steffi and uh, Ridge? Does one have more power over the other one? Because he made this decision by himself and she was trying to tell him that Steffi looked like she was about to cry. She looked like she was about to cry when he said that. And I said, he knew that she wasn't going to go for it. Brooke knew. Brooke told him. Brooke told him or whatever. And she said that Brooke's not going to listen to her and she definitely not going to listen to Brooke. <laughs> I feel like eventually they'll be on the same path until the next CEO or co-CEO steps up. Until Eric decides he want to come back or until Ridge decides that he really wants his spot back or one of them step down. Because y'all already know. We've seen this before. But that's it, y'all. Not too much happened on today's episode. Let me know down below what y'all thoughts. Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, do subscribe. Girl, rest of the day and be safe.